Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. Summer heat is coming today, and we need to talk about it. The loading screen that EA put up yesterday as our 6 p.m. content, uh, along with uh, the Havertz Player of the Month SBC. But that's not what we're here to talk about. I want to talk about market movements for this promo that is starting today. Kind of a weird one, starting on a Wednesday. Uh, but I think there might be some reasons for that, which we're going to talk about in this video today. So, summer heat yes this is the promo that we've never seen before in fifa ultimate team and it's still kind of looking sort of like footies i know yesterday i've been going back and forth saying hey this looks like footies this kind of doesn't look like footies based on what people are saying and based on what leaks may have come out but this part to me still looks like footies re-releasing old cards back into the game and putting these card designs on the loading screen uh, for yesterday tells me that these cards are going to be re-released onto the market. I think these cards are going to be back in packs. I don't know if it's going to be today or if it's going to be Friday, uh, but I think these cards are going to come back into packs and hopefully we get some information on what uh, all that entails. Like today's a pretty big day. A lot of stuff could happen today. I mean, we've had multiple card designs that have showed up on the loading screen. We've now had... Um, these types of cards showing up on the loading screen, like out of pack special cards from previous promos. We've had stuff about SBCs that have shown up on the loading screen. So it's going to be really interesting to see what EA does. But seriously, it's looking more and more just like the good old footies promo that we are used to. Uh, with maybe some new stuff added on that's going to make Summer Heat more interesting. Like with that Summer Heat car design. Um, and maybe this is just taking over footies altogether. I still don't know. But we're going to get some answers today. But I still want to talk about a few things that we can, can not necessarily confirm, but what we can sincerely expect based on this loading screen right here. This tells me for sure that these cards are going to get re-released back into packs. That's the way that I think it has to be because last year we had this as well during footies. This is a list from uh, a website called FIFA U Team. Uh, this is a list of cards that were back into packs last year. There were three batches last year, if you remember during footies. Uh, the first batch was uh, released and then it was out for two weeks. Uh, then there was a second batch that was out for two more weeks after that. And the third batch was adding TOTS cards into that basically. And then combining the best players from the second and third batch. So this promo all in all last year was basically a, I mean, I mean, it was like a, like over a month. Like this footies was like a month long promo with cards and packs for just kind of like, you know, releasing that stuff back into packs for stuff to do for the end of the year. So uh, I, I feel like that's how this summer heat promotion could be starting out today. Uh, it it could be could be something where we see today and get information today about a promo that's going to be lasting a pretty long time. But the other thing I want to talk about is this foot watch code that was tweeted out today. Um, this summer heat nominee was added as a rare type into the game, which I think that was the card design that we saw earlier this week on one of those promo screens that they released uh it was like the the white car with the color splashes that wasn't the the royal one if you go back and uh look at some of those other loading screens from a couple days ago i think that since it's like a nominee type card that makes me think it's more footies related that there's going to be some sort of voting involved or some sort of um player pick or i don't know like last year they did voting through player picks i feel like there's some sort of voting involved here with a nominee player maybe they're gonna have nominees in packs and they're gonna have i don't know this is maybe like team of the year nominees all over again not sure how ea is gonna run this one but i do think that it has potential to be pretty interesting so what would i expect today on fifa ultimate team in terms of content i would expect some sort of sbc to come out related to the summer heat promotion whether it's just a pack supply sbc or some sort of like player SBC they're re-releasing. I would expect us to get some sort of SBC either today or on Friday. Again, I should rephrase that. I see this going one of two ways. Either either one of two ways is going to happen. They say the promo starts today on Wednesday. There's not a lot that's released except for maybe a vote and maybe an objective or something like that that would come out today. And the promo with the cards coming back into packs and stuff like that that could start on Friday because most of the time they don't put stuff into packs on in the middle of a week on a Wednesday. They do it on a Friday, but also they usually sell lightning rounds on a Friday. So I don't think they, they didn't do lightning rounds last year for cards coming back into packs. That would not make sense for them to do. Um, but 
I think that that's kind of the one or two ways things. We could see everything happen today on Wednesday, or we could see a may maybe a bit of a delay with today being the start of the promo with some sort of vote. And maybe that's the vote for the Summer Heat card or for the Footies card, basically. And then on Friday, we see the rest of the promo starting. So that's how I could feel that goes. Or it all just drops today again. Um, but it is interesting as starting on a Wednesday. But if you remember back to Footies of, of, of past, like last year's Footies, if you remember what they did then was they put out the vote uh, two days before. And then the, the winner of that vote would then have their SBC come two days later so i don't know if you remember that but we got like the lozano vote was like one of the first votes that we got it was like lozano gelson martins and some other guy we had to choose between one of those three players as our vote i think lozano was first last year fifa 19 anyways that is how i would expect maybe it to, to go today and then maybe they drop some objective people have been talking about like sissoko furland mendy ryan kent all getting these super duper upgraded cards that's just all hype at this point until we actually see something come out today a lot of question marks still um you know going on with this promo until we actually figure out what's going on but i do want to talk about again the cards that were on the loading screen i want to mention this because uh some people are already starting to panic sell these cards some cards have not moved at all now this firmino people have been hyping up this card he was a hundred like ten thousand coins on the weekend league sell-off now he's up to like 150 some people have been buying into like the concepts they've been seeing on Twitter about this card getting upgraded to like a 93 or a 94 and then re-releasing it. I don't think they're going to upgrade those cards that you saw on the loading screen. I don't think they're upgrading these anymore or like boosting their stats. That would be crazy if they did and that'd be super awesome. But I don't think that's what they're going to do, at least at the moment. Honestly, what I think they're going to do is just re-release all of these cards back into packs. And of course, you can tell... Or you would, you would think that that does crazy things to the market. I want to show you what happened to a card last year that was kind of overpriced a little bit during Team of the Season. And what could happen this year to some of these cards as they go back into packs. So Gabriel Jesus was in Batch 2. He was in Batch 2 with Carnival cards last year during footies. My man went from 260,000 coins on the day of his release, or two days before. Uh, my man dropped from 260k after being in packs for two weeks. He went all the way down to 50,000 coins. So we went from 260K to 50K. There are cards like that that are going to be put back into packs that could have massive, massive drops in price. Uh, you know, the ones that we saw on the loading screen, right? We saw the winter refresh players. We saw headliners. We saw uh, shapeshifters, scream cards. Some informs are going to be re-released, right? So there's a possibility for a lot of these cards Um to be panic sold and to be, you know, there's not a lot of panic selling go selling going on right now, except for the most panic selling is actually happening in the higher tier. Like this Neymar card is down like 150, 200,000 coins. He's like 3.45, 3.47. He was in the three sixes earlier today uh, and earlier this week. The Ronaldo shapeshifter down is a little bit. Um, and it's mostly what I think is people are realizing that, hey, these cards could come back into packs. Uh, and if I had any of these, I think I would take the safe route and sell because regardless of whatever this promo brings, um, it's bringing new cards to the game and it's taking hype away from these most likely and it's putting the hype somewhere else. So that could make some of these cards drop. So if you've got some of these guys in your squad, in your club, in your team that you're rocking, just a fair warning, if they do come back into packs, these are the types of cards that could take a major, major hit. Some of them might still rebound from when they go down low. They might not drop as much because some of these cards don't have better versions, right? Lewandowski has a team of the season. Um, but a lot of these cards that I'm looking at, Neymar is a tots as well. But a lot of these cards that I'm just kind of monitoring the price of, uh, they don't have team of the seasons. And that's like, this is like the best version of Marcelo that we have in this game. And if this guy, I mean, I feel like this guy's enough, enough hype in this game and has good enough stats for this stage of the game to possibly have some you know potential to rise back or there to be too much panic selling and i'm just kind of thinking through cards that i want to watch the prices of but if you have any shapeshifters any headliners um any even conmi bowl cards that those were in the loading screen today um or when to refresh or once to watch players i would be very careful with those because i think there is the potential for those to be back into packs and again we saw with that gabriel jesus graph if a lot of packs are being opened which a lot of packs are going to be opened because if people have the opportunity to pack a lot of special cards, they're just going to go grind packs because it's fun to pack stuff like that. 
even though the stats might not be as good as the team of the season cards that we have in the game now, people just love to go out and try to pack uh, special cards when they have the opportunity to do so. So you're going to see these guys, if they do get re-released, you're going to see them drop a lot. They're going to drop tons. They're going to exponentially fall. Most of them are going to drop uh, crazy high amounts. So just be careful with those. I don't see a lot of panic selling yet, honestly, which is a bit surprising to me. I guess most people don't think these cards are going to be back into packs. I think, although it is not confirmed, that is what we will see with those cards that were on the loading screen um, today. One other very interesting thing that we found today as well on the live stream. I don't know if you can actually see this, uh, but what happened was we were opening a deluxe team of the season pack on the stream today that somebody had saved. Uh, you know, I think they were in the unassigned. They had rare golds. They were just selling them, but they did the SBCs and they, we opened them on today on stream. And when we opened the pack, I'll show you a little clip of it right here. The walkout animation was pink. And if we fast forward to the end of the pack animation, you see that there's like pink outlines that the stands behind are pink. Um, maybe this is part of like the summer heat pack animation. They're changing possibly. Uh, Cause I don't think I've ever seen a pink pack animation, like pink lights with a pink walkout um, on FIFA. I know we had foot future stars, which was technically a pink ish color. Uh, but for that to be changed right now was very, very interesting. And I went back and I tried to open like a regular pack to see if, um, to see if that would show that animation and it didn't it was only with that deluxe tots pack that we have saved that we had saved and we opened four guaranteed team of the season packs that that guy had saved up and they were all pink like that so i don't know man some people think there's going to be cards and packs today like a new squad if they did that that would be ridiculous and that would cause the only thing that's going to cause a massive market crash today would be um, if we saw big time cards added to this game, like a summer heat promo squad, if we saw that today, that would cause panic. Uh, again, we're talking about the, the possibility of that, that Furlan Mendy left back summer heat card. If that would be a card that would come out of packs today. Uh, and if there's like an Usman Dembele, if there's a Ryan Kent, those would be types of cards that they came out in the game today. You would see panic selling on team of the seasons because those cards are at that same level as a tots, right? Uh, so that's something that I, I guess you could be wary of today, um, but I wouldn't really expect a lot of that in my opinion. I would expect mostly just dropping prices on those other out-of-pack special cards that we looked at that are on the loading screen. That's what I would expect the most uh, at this time. Other things to expect today. This is probably going to get lost in the all the hoopla of Summer Heat, but today on FIFA Ultimate Team, we should be getting another Twitch Prime pack, which is perfectly timed. So if EA wants to drop a Twitch Prime pack and they're going to drop all these new cards into packs, that would be a perfect time for them to do that because uh, today's a Twitch Prime pack. So that, that's going to be something you guys, if you have Twitch Prime, that is something you're going to be able to get. Uh, also, we could see a FIFA 21 release trailer because the EA Play live event that's going to be covering FIFA 21 or the first little tidbit of it, releasing the first bit of information uh, is tomorrow. So what they've done in the past years is the day before they released kind of a sneak peek of uh, FIFA 21 info. So that could be coming today. Stay tuned to EA's Twitter for that one. Uh, and then also today, we can't we can't overlook this. Premier League is back, baby. Premier League is back. I'm excited for Premier League football to come back. Hopefully you are too. So that's going to be fun to uh, have some of those games back and to be able to watch uh, football again, especially in the Premier League. So that's kind of a, an overview of what content you could be seeing today on FIFA Ultimate Team uh, with stuff that could be coming out in the game. I'm not done just yet, all right? It sounds like I'm done with the video, but I'm not just done yet. I wanna talk about a few more things related, market related, uh, especially related to like SBCs. Cause if this promo is SBC related, you're gonna need a lot of these fodder cards to do those SBCs, right? Fodder is still inflated because we have not gotten any tradable supply to knock these down. And since we did get the um, Havertz, Player of the Month SBC today. Some people did go out and do that. And you saw some of these prices go up a little bit, especially in some of these 85s. A lot of these guys, I think, were like 9K yesterday. Uh, and it looks like they went up today with the SBCs that came out. Yeah, like he was 9K up to like 11,000 coins. That's a Cardi at least. Uh, so it does look like some of these cards rose up uh, fodder today. Hopefully, with a lot of packs that could be open during this promo, just because people are going to grind league SBCs, is how else are you going to get packs? Like if they put all of these cards back into packs, 
how are you going to be able to open up packs? Last year, they didn't release uh, upgrade SBCs. So the only way you could stack packs and try to pack these cards uh, that are re-released, which is actually profitable. This is one of the most profitable times of the year to do League SBC method. Honestly, I was talking about this on stream as well. There were people, if you have decent pack luck, right? Which, you know, it's EA, so it, it, it changes. But from 7.5k packs last year, with if you look at the loading screen again, with all of those special card types that are out in the game, they're going to release like Man of the Matches as well. You're going to pack so many cards that are just special versions in this game. People were opening 7.5k packs last year during the footies promo. And they were packing special cards they could quick sell for 10k a pop because the quick sell value on those is still 10,000 coins. Whether you get an inform, a man of the match, maybe a Libertadores uh, kickoff team card, uh, you were able to actually make coins from opening 7.5k packs over. It, it was like the bronze pack method with 7.5k's because all it took was you for you to hit one or two special cards in the same pack, and boom, you're doubling your money right there with just quick sell value. That could happen again with all these cards that are re-released. So that's just something to think about. It's honestly going to be easy to do to farm coins. You're going to be able to make coins during this promo by like doing league SBCs if they release all of these cards into packs. So what that is going to do is it's going to drive up the cost of league SBCs because that's the way people are going to get coins. So for my guys that do league SBCs, maybe look into some of the silvers that are um, involved that are rare with some of these, they could be rising up as people get ready to do those league SBCs just to get some tradable packs so that they can open some sort of pack when Summer Heat does come out. So that is something you could look into as well if you're a league SBC grinder type of person. So that's kind of what I'm expecting today, boys. Uh, possibly new Man of the Match cards as well because technically we're not getting a Team of the Week yet. Team of the Week is coming next week. So a week from today is Team of the Week. But for today... Uh, we we'll probably get a new set of Man of the Match cards, which could include Syria and La Liga because those leagues uh, have started back up now as well. So probably a new Man of the Match set with those guys that are coming out today. Just be on the lookout for those cards uh, that could be coming today in FIFA Ultimate Team as well. But a big day. Potential for a ton of content. That's what I tweeted out yesterday when I saw this loading screen. As I said, looks like there could be a lot going on tomorrow. It's going to be a lot to digest. We'll be covering it here on the channel, of course as per usual in the videos so if you enjoyed this video smash the thumbs up on it if you're hyped for summer heat tell me why down in the comments below and subscribe to the channel if you are new it's been nate the foot accountant catch you guys later peace out